Tonight, we've learned that Atlanta city leaders are taking steps to restrict vicious and dangerous dogs. This comes after two dogs killed a six year old boy and seriously hurt a little girl. It happened just this morning. Tonight, the community held a vigil for those kids. And Channel 2's Nefertiti Jaquez is live outside Children's Healthcare of Atlanta at Eggleston. That's where the surviving girl is getting treatment. Neff. Javita, that little girl is here behind me, and at last check, she is in stable condition. As for the little boy who died, we talked to his family off camera tonight, and they tell us they are struggling with their loss, and they're demanding that the dog owner be charged with murder. As the sun set, friends and neighbors of Logan Bratz and Soraya Sanders lit candles to honor the two children who were mauled by dogs. The growing memorial marks the spot where little Logan lost his life. These are new pictures of the six year old given to us by his family. In one photo, you see him smiling with his mom. In another, he's happy while hugging his uncle. A happy kid who Shamonte Clayton says didn't deserve this. Tell he was just covered in blood everywhere. Clayton tried to save the boy, but by the time he got to him, it was too late. I picked him up and carried him to the ambulance. The vicious attack happened Tuesday morning along Giddens Drive. Police say Logan, Soraya, and about a dozen other kids were being escorted by an adult to the bus stop when three dogs attacked. Fulton County Animal Control officers say one is a pit bull mix, the other a border collie. The third dog got away. Witnesses say the dogs, who are often seen roaming the neighborhood, were not wearing collars. For the owner, why would you let those type of dogs roam these streets freely? Police want to know the same thing, so shortly after arresting the dog's owner, Cameron Tucker, detectives spent the evening scouring his house for any potential clues. I've never seen anything like that before. While police processed the scene, neighbors, many of whom jumped into action trying to fight off the dogs, tried to process what happened. For many, the images from today will be etched in their minds forever. Now, Animal Control confirming for us tonight that those dogs will be put down. The owner, who has been charged with two counts of reckless conduct, is set to face a judge tomorrow morning. We're live in DeKalb County. Now, for TD Jack Quest, Channel 2, Action News, Nightbeat.